everybody. You know, sliders are super fun at parties, and today we are going to make some super ham and cheese sliders that are amazingly delicious. Let's go ahead and get started. Here's what you're going to need. One package of Hawaiian sweet rolls, 12 rolls, one pound of deli sliced ham, 12 slices of Swiss cheese, one stick of butter, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of onion powder. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I went ahead and sliced my rolls in half so that way I'm ready to make the sandwich. And I'm going to add my ham and cheese to these rolls right here. And I like to add about two slices of ham per roll just because I like a lot of meat on my sandwiches. But you can do whatever feels right for you. If you like more meat than that, then by all means, help yourself. If you want less, one slice of ham per slider will do too. We've got all the ham on there. Then we're going to add on the cheese. And the way that I like to do this is I do like to take a cheese slice and then just fold it in half and then fold it in half again to make four little slices of cheese. I feel like that is just the perfect size to put on each of these sliders. And this is another thing, that if you like a lot of cheese, then you can add more cheese. You can put cheese underneath the ham and on top of the ham, or you can do like me, where you just have one slice of cheese per roll. We've got that done, then we're going to add the tops back on to our sliders here. And then we're gonna mix up what goes on top. So I've already melted a stick of butter, and I have that ready to go. So then I'm going to add my spices into the mix, and the Worcestershire sauce. And then I'm going to measure out about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Mix that all together. Now, another thing that you can add into this is some poppy seeds. If you wanted to add about a teaspoon of poppy seeds, you can just to give it that much more of flavor. But you don't have to by any means. All right, so once we've got that mixed up, then we're going to pour that right on top of our bread. All right, once that's done, we're gonna throw it into a 375 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes, just enough time for it to cook through and that cheese to get nice and melted. All right, be right back. All right, it sounds like they are ready, so let's go ahead and pop these out of the oven. They look delicious. There you go. Now, once they have cooled off a little bit, you can take your mayonnaise and put a little bit of mayonnaise just on top of each one, so that way they have a little bit more zang to the flavor. And then these are perfect for a tailgate or if you're having a bunch of friends come over to watch a football game or a basketball game, or maybe you're just having everybody over for lunch. They are amazingly delicious. Everyone is going to love them. Now, Cooking with Caitlin is sponsored by hy V. They provided all of the ingredients for today's recipe. And of course, if you try this recipe out for yourself at home, Make sure to reach out on social media and let me know how it goes.